Tangani Ampadi, editor and managing director of the Namibian, which uh, goes by the formal name the Free Press of Namibia. Um, we decided that uh, we are uh, we turning ourselves into a comprehensive multimedia company, which means we want to cover all areas of news and, and information. So radio or broadcasting, actually, as we call it, is one of those. We were already going online, and as you know, digital technologies provide avenues for broadcasting, so we thought we would venture into that. Um, and when the opportunity arised, we also then decided to go into terrestrial or the uh, old-style FM uh, radio. The Namibian reports quite a lot, very much independently um, and robust. So we believe that a lot of our work used to be taken up by other radio stations. Uh, as well as other broadcast organizations, as well as other news, news organizations, even newspapers used to latch on to stories that we um, investigate, projects that we do. So we believe that um, what we used to put only in the newspaper, in the printed newspaper, we can now put online and we can as well as uh, have it on radio. So we, I, I think, that independent journalistic voice is something that definitely will be um, uh, an addition to the airwaves that we have had in Namibia. Very independent, very robust, um, not driven by political or business interests. We, as, just as the newspaper, we are in it for the long, long haul which means we want to serve our readers as much as possible, documentaries, news, um, and other current affairs. So we want to offer a, a public service in news and current affairs as we have done in the newspaper, and therefore we, we will take it for the long haul in all platforms, in all technologies. I think they should... Um, Expect us to remain a bold voice. Expect us to continue challenging stereotypes. Um, and then I think we would appreciate feedback from our listeners because that's the only way we would know what our listeners need, what our listeners want, and so that we can serve them. Um, the, uh, we call it a buffet of news and information. Um, well, the names, the, we first threw it out onto, into the company for people to suggest names. Um, Desert, Desert Radio was not fully suggested. It was cobbled up after a lot of other suggestions. Some people just said Desert FM. Some people said Desert Airwaves. Some people call it Free Namibia. Some people call it Radio Free. So we combined some of these names to call, to call it Desert Radio. Um, and our um, thinking around that was there, there are two symbol, there are symbolisms around it. Namibia is uh, a country that is basically largely desert, the oldest desert in the world, the Namib Desert on the west and then we have the Kalahari Desert on the east, so which means we are sandwiched. And we thought, hmm, desert, having a desert radio is like providing an oasis of information. You, you can just imagine an oasis in the desert where you need to quench your thirst. So it's a way for, for us to say we want to quench people's thirst for information and news. Um, we are already um, running tests, so for selected people, and if there are people who want to have a go at it, they should uh, request the online link, so they would have a taste of uh, technically what we are putting up on air and a few news bulletins, so we are already in that testing phase. 
but before the end of October, before the end of this month, we will be up and running fully, providing news, providing current affairs, allowing uh, documentaries, airing documentaries, as well as allowing maybe some um, interactions with our listeners.